surprise niggas I know you guys weren't expecting me to make a video today but I did say in my last rant that I was going to make a video of other shit that you should be watching so that's this video before I get into it just a few shout outs first being to um, critical dark anime for subscribing to my channel um, mad props to that dude I appreciate him coming to check out my content uh, much thank you to you, sir. Um, and also, congrats to my boy Enigma, Black Enigma. I've mentioned him several times on his channel. He got over 100 subs, so congrats to that dude as well. Um, I'm approaching 500 subs, and normally I don't ask for subs because I feel like, again, I've already went over this. Like, if you like my content, then you should just you should sub if you really like my content and you really appreciate me as a creator but i'm approaching 500 subs it would mean a lot if i were able to reach that milestone before the new years but no pressure you don't have to if you don't want to it's all up to you this is going to be my list of anime that you should you could and should watch over super took me several hours to fucking do the research necessary to make this an actual video so here's a couple things i want to get off the bat um get off my chest before we start First, don't fucking comment, what about this anime? Why isn't this anime on the list? My favorite anime on... This is my list, okay? Calm yourself. <laughs> just because your, your anime is not on this list does not mean that I haven't watched it or I don't like it. It's just that because of fucking time constraint and I don't want to go for a million years on this fucking video, I just want to start off small with 10 anime and then if people like this video, I will make another video with other anime that you can watch. I just wanted to make a diverse list of anime, put it in here. If you like the video, obviously like it, because um, trust me, if you support this video and you, you put some likes on this shit and I get enough of them, I will make another video if people actually like this list. Hopefully there's uh, at least one anime on this list that you haven't watched, but the aggregate amount of fucking episodes in this entire list is... It's massive, so <laughs> chances are you haven't watched everything on this list. So, here you go, because there's no fucking episode of Super, here are some anime that you can watch over your break, or whatever, in place of Super. Let's get into this shit. First anime that I'm gonna be going over is Konosuba, which is in the Isekai genre. It's probably one of the most prominent genres in this, in Japan right now, which is basically where a guy or a girl dies and then they end up in a fucking fantasy world. That's basically the summation of the entire fucking genre. Um, so that's that's basically what this uh, surrounds is that isekai genre. If you if you're tired of isekai, I, I can get it. A lot of people are not a fan of isekai. They think it's it's overdone. I think this was really well done. Um, Konosuba is definitely one of my favorite animes that I've watched comedy wise in a really long time. I'm I'm shocked that it only has 20 episodes, but. Whatever, I'm currently re-watching it because I literally have nothing else to watch at the moment. Um, it is on Crunchyroll and it's subbed only. Uh, it has finished airing for now. Hopefully they make a third season. It has great characters, they're relatable, it has excellent comedic timing. It does have a, a lot of fan service. I don't know if some people have an issue with that. I don't really give a shit. But I think that the comedy in the show is... It way outshines the fucking fan service. The fan service in some places is actually kind of funny. So it, it fits in. It's not just like fan service for the sake of fan service. In some cases, it actually does fit. If you don't, if you don't like this, or if you do like this, um, you may like Shimonetta. I don't know if you ever heard of it, but Shimonetta is kind of like this, but way more fan service heavy, and it's still as funny. But I, my again, my fucking constraints with this list was very small. So. I would give this an 8 out of 10, very good anime, check it out if you want to. Ninth on my list is Fate Zero and um, Fate Stay Night um, Unlimited Blade Works, also known as Unlimited Budget Works because that animation is pristine. <laughs> so this uh, goes in the supernatural genre, which is based, basically what happens here is you have 12 people and they're in this fucking holy grail war. Which is basically, they get these, they get various warriors from multiple timelines, and like, they're very, his, like, there is very historical presence, right? There's a lot of famous warriors that you might recognize throughout this series, um, both in Fate Zero and Un uh, Unlimited Blade Works. Obviously, you want to watch Fate Zero first because it's the 
um the prequel to unlimited um blade works so watch that first then go into unlimited blade works um these guys they have their 12 i can't, I can't remember what they're called but basically the the masters control these 12 warriors and they fight and whoever's the last person standing essentially um they get to make a wish on the holy grail so it's a pretty dope i i like when i say the animation in both of them is just great it, it really is that good it has amazing fight sequences probably some of the best that i've seen in an anime that i've watched for like the past 10 years that i've been watching anime um definitely top tier it is um on crunchyroll it's 50 uh episodes in total it has finished airing um the cons is that fucking fate khalid liner whatever man i don't fucking care the fact that this show exists is it's tragic please it's go it's on crunchyroll don't fucking watch it i <laughs> i fucking beg you do not watch prisma Ilya. don't do it mm, just just don't okay just take my word for it just watch phase zero watch unlimited blade works move along eight out of ten very good anime let's move forward um number eight on my list is durada <sighs> god damn it durada and durada x2 which basically just imagine a bunch of weird people in a weird town doing a bunch of crazy ass shit that's basically the whole premise of this anime um it has a lot of characters it's a very diverse character sometimes that can be overwhelming but it's not that big of a deal i haven't watched a, some of these shows i haven't watched in a while so i can't give you the most in-depth analysis on all of these fucking animes not only that this isn't a review but all these characters are interesting it has an amazing story it has a lot of episodes so you can binge watch the fuck out of this and for you dub lovers it's on crunchyroll dubbed so i'm i'm throwing you a bone don't say i've never did anything for you so durarara definitely top tier um eight out of ten very good anime if you like that mystery action supernatural feel type shit you'll definitely like this give it a good watch oh <laughs> i know you <laughs> i know some people probably weren't expecting this to be on the list but jojo's bizarre adventure is it like this show is <laughs> is not only meme tastic but it is fantastic there is a reason why this is probably one of the most recognizable animes out right now it's it's great like there's three there's three separate series so there's the original bizarre adventures there's 26 episodes for that then there's starters crusaders and then diamond is unbreakable in that order right now only diamond is unbreakable is available on crunchyroll so you would have to watch the other two series um some other way um it's only subbed it has interesting characters as amazing fight uh fight and action sequences this is the only anime that has a primarily male cast that i'll fucking like and i don't mean like male cast is like you know yeah it's just a couple of lads like no like some grown ass muscly men <laughs> in the fucking main cast this is probably one of the few animes that's able to do something like that and do it well uh definitely top tier anime the only con is that diamond is unbreakable was slightly weaker in my opinion than its predecessors narrative and story wise but other than that the whole series and franchise as a whole is very good give it a watch i i guarantee you will not regret it <laughs> join us on a main uh, on a meme tastic journey join the jojo army you won't regret it um we're going to be going into the next tier of anime now nine out of ten anime great anime now this isn't saying that this all these animes in this uh in this category are like leagues beyond the other animes that i've listed this is my own personal list so i'm i'm, I'm biased as fuck some of this is like nostalgia only but for torador this is literally i i shit you not this is the first romance anime <laughs> that i've ever watched so i am very very biased in this regard but it is a slice of life anime so I, I like i said i try to be diverse here um if you don't like slice of life anime obviously you're not gonna like this shit but i think this is probably one of the best slice of life comedy animes ever created period 
um it's currently on crunchyroll has 25 episodes it has great characters and development it has great comedic timing and has a great story the only the only cons is that sometimes i feel like it pace is a little bit slow and other times it's a little bit fast but other than that i still think the series is great um it's definitely rewatchable in my opinion so if you're into like comedy romances and you don't mind that shit there there's a little bit of cheesy moments here and there but Regardless, I think as a whole, the story and the, the franchise, it's great. Um, definitely give it a watch. It, it has my fucking, the, the R seal of approval. Definitely go watch it if you uh, you want a good laugh. Hi Q is number five on my list. This is the first anime um, that I ever watched sports-wise. And I wasn't expecting a lot of the series and holy fucking shit this anime is amazing if you have never watched a sports anime before in your entire life please i beg you please watch this anime i swear on my fucking reputation you will not regret making this decision it has amazing characters it has hands down one of if not the best tournament arcs in a sports anime as great animation has great storytelling literally my only con is that there isn't more of it 9 out of 10 at 60 episodes you can fucking binge watch the shit out of this please go watch this you will not regret it i swear on my fucking reputation fourth is food wars shokugeki no stoma I'm not gonna lie, I went into this and I was like, oh man, I was like, because the reason why I was avoiding this for a while is because there's a lot of fucking ecchi in this shit, and I was like, I'm not really a big fan of ecchi because in my opinion, if your show has to rely on ecchi in order to get views, it's probably not that good of a show, but this fucking show changed my mind and uh, on it pretty quick. The first episode, I was like, okay, the, the etchy is getting a little out of hand. But over time, the etchy does dial down. I feel like they did it just to get people, like, to click on it. Just to, you know, watch it, give it a try. But you'll definitely stay for the fucking story and the character development um, over the fucking etchy. The, oh, the etchy, the further you go along, is you're going to notice it less and less because the story is just that fucking good. Um, it currently is on Crunchyroll, obviously. It's subbed. Um, it's still running, so no, it is not finished airing. Um, like I said, it has great characters, it's great story. Um, the main character isn't OP for no reason. It doesn't get ass pulled every episode, unlike that boy, <laughs> Goku. <laughs> and, uh, so for that reason, this definitely makes it onto my list. Top tier anime. I, like, again, this may not be for you, but definitely give it a watch. At least watch three episodes and before you if you decide to drop it just watch this shit right you you'll been I'm, I'm guarantee you once you get fucking <laughs> once you get attached to this shit it's gonna be hard for you to drop it so definitely putting shokugeki no soma on this list 9 out of 10 great anime and do i do do i really need to explain this choice if you haven't heard this anime First of all, for shame. <laughs> uh, but just to be clear, like, don't don't watch regular Full Metal Alchemist. Brotherhood is where it's at. It, it's definitely one of the best fucking animes in existence. Period. Um, if, if you don't believe me, like, you can go on my anime list and this shit. I like, I was doing research on my anime list just so that I knew the genre and episodes and shit like that. And this shit is fucking number two on there. I don't know how the fuck that happened considering how long ago this shit stopped airing, but this shit's good. Like, this shit is, like, top tier. It's 64 episodes, so you have plenty of binge-watching opportunities to just fucking go right through this shit. Has amazing characters, great animation, a world bid uh, building. One take, fuck it. <laughs> I don't script any of this shit. One take, Drake. Who gives a fuck? Great fight sequences and also does a great job of setting tones. Um, I think that's probably one of the highlights of the show. It's not only just the story and the fighting, but the way that it sets tones is truly fantastic. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people fell in love with this show, aside from the storytelling. My only con is that there isn't more of it. 9 out of 10, fucking great anime. Definitely go give it a watch. 
and now we go into 10 out of 10 near perfection levels of greatness in the fucking anime community and that number two spot goes to gintama which is a comedy and parody anime oh my god there is there is there is no words to describe how fucking great this anime is when i first discovered this shit i had no idea what the fuck this shit was about i had never fucking heard of it i just saw it on crunchyroll and I was like, uh, I mean, it has a lot of episodes, so I mean, it can't be that bad. And I fell in love with this shit, like, within 10 episodes. Fucking easy, easy peasy. This fucking anime is top shelf, amazing, definitely one of the best parody animes of all time. If you want to see some of your favorite shows be parodied, <laughs> this show does a fantastic job of doing that. I, like... It's so hard to fucking describe how great an anime is. This is one of the things where you just have to fucking watch it and keep watching it in order to understand the greatness of this anime. It covers a lot of um, it's interesting topics um, and like real world shit in here sometimes, but it's good. Like, it's a really good anime. There's nothing more for me to say about it. 10 out of 10 fucking masterpiece. The only con is that sometimes it's slow to build up, but once it does it's fucking worth it this is one of the few animes where i can say like it does comedy well it does action well you can see the drastic amount of improvement that you'll see as it goes on the animation drastically improves everything this is just one of the best animes of all time no questions asked definitely go watch it if you have not watched it already and number one, the fucking sleeper. The one <laughs> no one expected to be on this list. Fucking Nichi Joe is hands down in my top three favorite anime of all time. It's in the slice of life um category. I don't give a fuck, right? This anime was canceled, which it, it's a fucking crime on humanity that an anime as great as this was fucking canceled. And not only that, it's not on fucking Crunchyroll. So you'll have to go to some other source in order to watch it. But if you listen to nothing else I say, go watch this shit immediately. Just get out the way. <laughs> Just watch it. I, I'm not fucking kidding. This is not me being hyperbolic. This is genuinely one of the best anime you'll ever watch. If you don't like it, you probably have shit taste. <laughs> you probably like Boko no Pico. I can't take you seriously. That's just how seriously I, I take this fucking anime. I'm I'm so sad that the, the, the reason why this was even canceled is because in Japan, it didn't do that well. But once it actually hit the fucking the Western uh, Western countries, um, it like like America. I might be messing up my East and West here, but all I know is that like in America, like North America and Europe, it did like really fucking well. So that's the reason why if you go on my anime list, it's probably number one hundred on that list in terms of like popularity or rank. It's one of the two. It's it's definitely up there. But this fucking anime is great. Um, just, please, if you, you do nothing else, if you listen to nothing else I say, please go watch this anime, it has great characters, and it follows these three girls who do some crazy shit <laughs> in, a, in a small town, it, it's definitely amazing anime, um, sorry that I wasn't able to go, I was trying, I just wanted to get through this, just list out the anime, I couldn't go over the details for every anime, Hopefully, um, you and hopefully you enjoyed this list. Hopefully, you haven't watched everything on this list. If you do like this video, give it a thumbs up. I might do I, I, the next time I make a video, I'll definitely do a better job of actually explaining the story or at least the general concept behind them. But obviously, if you want, you can just you can look up the fucking the basic gist of the fucking stories if you want on your own time. I just wanted to get the list out to you guys. So. Hopefully you like the list. I may make another list of 10 anime that you should watch over Super because that, that fucking anime is garbage. Huh. <sighs> That's the only thing I have to say. Happy New Year's to you motherfuckers. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And without further ado, this boy ours is...
out.